students so today we will be discussing short answer type question of the chapter forest okay so the questions that i'll discuss today is from your awareness or s chand book the reference book which you are having along with your ncrt book all right so let's get started so here you can see question number 1 question number 1 is define crown of a tree so what is crown of a tree the branchy part of a tree above the stem is known as what is known as a crown of a tree where the leaf lies okay that looks like a crown okay so that is called what that is called the crown of a tree next question number 2 name the various layers of vegetation in a forest starting from top downwards all right so scientists they have divided the vegetation of the forest into five parts number 1 so it is uh, from the topmost order i am telling you number 1 is canopy okay the roof okay it uh, acts as a roof of the forest first lies canopy then after the canopy it lies what it lies under story then number 3 it lies shrub layer number 4 herb layer and number 5 is forest floor next question number 3 what happen if an animal dies in a forest so you all know that uh, forest it is a habitat of different kinds of animals birds insects etc along with the plant isn't it so when an animal die in the forest then what happens the decomposers that is the uh, bacteria and fungi which is present in the soil what do they do they decompose their dead bodies into nutrient nutrient means they decompose it into fertile humus a dark colored substance humus understood water and carbon dioxide okay now these nutrients they are returned to the soil as because they are formed as a humus and humus it gets mixed in the soil carbon dioxide it is returned to the air all right now these nutrients are then reused for the growth of new plant in the forest all right and sometimes what happens is scavengers they also eat the animals but in spite of that the leftover okay they are decomposed by the decomposer organisms now question number 4 how do trees grow in a natural forest now in a natural forest no one goes and plant a tree a tree go, uh, grows by its own now how does it take place now the dead part of trees and plants okay then dead animals animal waste whatever they keep on collecting on the forest floor okay now the decomposer that is bacteria and fungi they act all uh, on the dead plant and animal matter and they convert it into what they convert it into the black colored substance called humus okay now this humus it contains what it contains plant nutrient and it makes what it makes the soil fertile on mixing all right now the animals and birds of forest okay uh, then uh, wind water okay they what do they do they scatter the seeds or they spread the seed they disperse the seed of the trees and plants on the forest soil all right now when the seed falls onto the ground now they obtain what they obtain the nutrient okay that is formed by the decomposers by acting on the dead part of plants and animals okay they convert it into humus so the seeds they are getting the nutrients they are getting water from the forest soil and they are germinating to form what to form the seedlings right now these seedlings it, uh, after getting what optimum amount of temperature that is the sunlight understood uh, optimum amount of water okay they grow to form what they grow to form saplings and ultimately they develops into trees okay so everything in the forest it is a natural phenomenon no person goes and plant a new tree in a forest next question number 5 so question number 5 here you see what are the various effects of destruction of forest okay so now what days like with the increase in population okay destruction of forest it is increasing at an alarming rate why because the people they need more and more bare lands okay for building of housing complex for building industries for growing agricultural crop understood so there are various effect of destruction of forest on our environment what are that number 1 like if the forests are being destructed then there will be a shortage of wood and other forest products there are many forest products like uh, several medicines comes from the forest then you can say as uh, essential oils understood rubber okay so it will lead to what it will lead to the shortage of wood and other forest products 
then number b destruction of forest it will disturb the balance of carbon dioxide and oxygen balance in the atmosphere now forest they balance as well okay the carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere because the plant they take up the carbon dioxide which are released by the animals or burning of fuels isn't it and thus they uh, minimize the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere on the other hand they release what they release oxygen they release lots and lots of oxygen isn't it that is why forests they are regarded as green lungs understood so this oxygen it gets mixed to the air and this oxygen it is required for all the animals to survive including the human beings next number c destruction of so, uh, forest it will cause soil erosion making the soil infertile for the growth of crop now if you cut down the trees and what will happen there will be no roots to bind the soil as a result what will happen the soil it will be uh, left bare isn't it so as a result there will be a strong tendency of blowing away the top soil isn't it it will cause what it will cause soil erosion Okay, so if there is soil erosion, soil erosion it leads to the removal of top soil and you all know that top soil it is rich in humus. So if the humus is being blown away then the soil it becomes what it becomes infertile for the growth of crop okay and that can result to what famine. You all know that soil erosion it can result to famine that is shortage of food. Next destruction of forest it affects the water cycle. Uh, leading to the reduction in rainfall why because forest it contributes a lot of amount of water vapor in the atmosphere why because transpiration it takes place from the plant isn't it and since forest contains lots of plant so what happens the water it gets what it gets uh, means lost from the surface of the plant and it gets mixed into the air in form of humidity all right now what happens it brings what it brings a lot of water vapor and thus it brings more and more rainfall isn't it so it will affect the water cycle and as a result it will what it will lead to the reduction in rainfall all right the next destruction of forest it leads to extinction of many wild animals and birds now you all know that uh, various kind of animals birds and insects forest it acts as a habitat for them so if the forest are being cut down at an alarming rate okay so what will happen there will be shelterless okay for many wild animals and birds okay so as a result it will lead to the extinction of many endangered species wild animals and birds next question number six is it necessary to conserve forest state any two ways to conserve forest so conservation of forest of course it is necessary now why it is necessary number one to maintain the supply of wood and other forest product as because all these things are needed for our daily life isn't it to maintain a healthy balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere number three to prevent what to prevent soil erosion and flood and number four to maintain the water cycle in nature and to bring huge amount of rainfall all right now how to conserve the forest okay number one excessive cutting down of the trees should not be allowed by government okay in order to conserve the forest okay the excess cutting of the tree it should be restricted by the government okay next number b more and more trees should be planted in the uh, forest in place of cut down trees to conserve the forest okay so wherever the trees are being cut down over there you have to plant a new tree okay so that there will be no less amount of tree over there all right so this is all about today thank you everyone